Man, these curls are freaking weird. Anyways, welcome to the channel, you guys. Today I get to do my skincare routine, and obviously I'm getting ready to start my day, so the first thing I'm gonna do is wash my face. And I always ask people if they wash their face both in the morning and at night, and you would not believe how many people say they don't. They just don't. I'm like, why though? Like, it's so gross. Like, have you not done your research of all the bacteria and all the dirt and just all the dirtiness of your face and you go home and sleep on your clean pillow or semi-clean pillow and get it even more dirty? Like, wash your face. Like, even if you remove your makeup, like, wash your face. You just don't understand how much bacteria you have on your skin, you have dead skin cells, you have nasty oils, you have dirt, you have just everything on your face. So make it a habit, wash your face at night. And just because you wash your face at night doesn't mean in the morning you're gonna wake up with a clean face either. Like you need to wash your face again. Because at night, I don't know if you, a lot of you guys realize, we sweat at night. And all that sweat starts building up on the pillow even if you wash your blankets and sheets and everything uh, every week, like it's still, it has a lot of bacteria. Like you need to wash your face in the mornings. And honestly, washing my face in the morning really helps me wake up. So it's a habit that I will never change. Wash my face at night, wash my face in the morning. It like, no questions asked, wash it. Anyways, so I'm gonna get started by washing my face with this Acne Stress Control Power Scrub. It has little beads in it and honestly I feel like those little beads is what makes my skin feel really soothing really fresh and clean and it looks like it has like a it has green tea cucumber skin soothers so that's why my skin feels amazing after using this and you know what I've actually bought some new products recently I've been trying the philosophy products um, I have here the one-step facial cleanser and then I have the micro exfoliating daily face wash. And I used these a couple days, but honestly, I didn't get that same clean effect. So I'm going to keep trying and testing it and whatnot, but mm, I don't really like them. I think I'm going to stick to the brand that I've used for years and hasn't given me any problems and has been able to control any future breakouts. So this is amazing stuff. So let's wash my face. And I'm not going to use that much, actually. I'm only going to use about, what is it, like a dime size amount? I need to wet my face a little bit. And just keep scrubbing until you get that clean feeling. You'll know it. And if you don't get that feeling, you're probably using a crappy face wash. Switch it up. Find something that makes you wake up in the morning. Makes you want to like, just start your day. Tons of energy. <laughs> I have, I've have actually tried those uh, face washes that comes with the beads that supposedly help you in the morning, but ugh, they have way too much alcohol. I can't, I can't deal with that much alcohol on my face. It gets me dizzy. This one, it's oil free, doesn't have as much alcohol, and I feel it like, because as soon as a product has too much alcohol, my eyes get really, really watery, and it like, it almost feels like I'm walking into like a smoky room. You know what I mean? Like just your eyes start burning, and they just feel weird. And that was a feeling that I always got with certain face washes, so I had to find the perfect one that wasn't too strong, was oil free, and honestly, this has been working amazing for me, so. I would highly recommend it if you have maybe dry skin because that's what I have. So, all right, I'm gonna rinse this off. So, next up, I am going to tone my face, and the product that I use is Mom Mad Rose Water Toner. Finally, got a new bottle. But this stuff has been amazing on my skin. I don't use that much. Gotta let it dry out a little bit. 
I guess I stuck it there like this. Okay, so I start off with my nose area, and that's what's recommended on the bottle. Start off with your nose and kind of work your way outward. I don't know if you guys can tell because my lighting is horrible, but I have freckles and I tend to have a, like a weird uneven skin tone. Like I'm kind of tan, but then I'm kind of not, you know, I'm very light complected. So there's certain spots that look darker than others. I think the darker spots for me are like around my head, but my face overall, it's pretty light. And then this area right here tends to be darker. So hopefully this has been helping. I have noticed a little bit has changed, so it's amazing. And then sometimes I'll use the toner at night and even with the toner, some of the, I don't know if it's dense skin cells or just deeper dirt that was in my skin, but it, the cotton balls will pick it up and it's disgusting. It actually turns a little like, like light, light brown or something. It's kind of gross. I'm gonna let that kind of soak into my skin. Um, next up, I'm going to use the Pond's Correcting Cream. I know this is one of those cheapy brands, but honestly, I've noticed a huge difference by using this and I'm gonna keep using it. I don't care what anyone says, it's amazing. And I've noticed that it really has reduced my blemishes and that's what this one's for. It actually reduces the appearance of dark spots within, it even skin tone within two weeks and reduces the appearance of dark spots in four weeks. And I've noticed a huge difference, especially because I have freckles and I used to have um, some like sunspots and whatnot, maybe scarring from a past breakout or whatever. So this has been helping my skin. You know, before I started making it a habit to wash my face in the morning and at night, uh, it was around the same time that I started getting more into makeup and my face just had a major outbreak. Like I was breaking out left and right. My face felt very like, very dry. Like it had a bunch of dry skin over it. And then whenever I would apply makeup, it wouldn't even like soak into my skin. Like it just felt like I had layers of a bunch of shit on my skin and then the makeup. So it, like the makeup wasn't even like smooth or anything. Like it, it seemed like it was cracking, like it was dried up in certain spots and whatnot. And it was because I just, I had so much crap on my face. I wasn't taking care of it. So I started doing my research and realized it's, freaking crucial to wash your face at night and in the morning so i'm gonna let that kind of dry in like immediately you just feel like your face is just so smooth and it's like ready to take on any makeup you apply on it and that's the feeling that you want you want your makeup to glide on smoothly be able to you know get sucked into your skin for that smooth effect so Finally, I'm going to wrap up some of those products with this uh, Clinique Moisturizing Lotion. I love it. It's amazing. You don't need a lot. And it is kind of a pricier item, but it really does what it needs to do. Probably use about a dime size amount. You know, I recently went in for my first facial ever and oh my God, it was amazing. I legit started snoring. <laughs> it was so embarrassing, but I caught myself. You ever snore and you're just like, <laughs> like you just scare yourself? That's exactly what happened. And I kind of laughed and I told the lady, I'm sorry, I'm like starting to snore. And she's like, no, no, it's fine. It's actually a compliment that you snore because it makes them feel like they're doing a good job by relaxing you. So she, anyways, the point of that story was she taught me a few tricks to do. Like when you're moisturizing your face, you have to like 
really get to your jawline and like push out is it outward yeah outward and it'll just help i think it, it she said i can't remember the exact terms but she just said it's just good for your skin it gets rid of some of the garbage you may have on your skin and just helps your blood flow a little bit better too and then she said to focus on your jaw, like right here. Your jawline. What is this? Your cheekbone? Did I say jawline? What? Your cheekbone. You want to massage your cheekbone and massage your jawline. And honestly, you feel relaxed immediately. And this will kind of help make the moisturizer go deeper into your skin. So it's amazing. She had this rock that she like pressed on your jawline and oh felt amazing and she even realized I had a lot of clogs right here on my jawline so with that rock she was using it really like helped my skin get that glow that needed it like immediately I had a glow for like a week so if you can get a facial do it it's amazing okay I think that's amazing that's amazing. That's good. <laughs> so I think I'm good. I think I probably put on too much moisturizer. That's okay. Finally, if I'm going to wear makeup, I'll throw on some primer, obviously, for the makeup that I'm using. The one that the makeup that I have been using recently is the Fenty. So I'll be using the Fenty um, primer and you don't need that much. You don't need that much and I like put all the freaking product on my face. No. This really like gets your skin ready for the makeup you want to throw on it. I have such a weird skin tone. I hate my skin sometimes. So when people are telling me, you have amazing skin, like, what do you use? And I get this all the time, even in person. I think I went to Kiwa Juice once and she's like, your skin is so perfect. Like, what do you use on your skin? And I think I had makeup on, but I was like, I don't know. Like I just wash my face and moisturize. Like I don't really do anything that amazing, but I guess the way my skin looked with the makeup, it just looked very natural, very smooth. And that's when you know you're doing a good job of taking care of your skin. If you run into people with really cracked makeup, and by cracked, like you can see certain lines, like if they laugh or smile, it just doesn't look natural. That's when you know either they're not moisturizing their face enough, they're not washing their face enough, maybe they have a bunch of crap on their skin that they're just not exfoliating. So take care of your skin. One more thing, I've actually been using, uh, for a while now, I've been using the peel off masks. Have you guys tried these? They work amazing, but you have to put a ton of product in order for it to peel correctly. And that's something that I read in reviews that people just, it was just too thin or too watery and they couldn't peel it, but it's because they weren't putting enough. Like you need to like throw that product on your face, like thick it up, just really thick. And I'll use this maybe like once a month and I don't use it that much just because it really does get rid of dry skin cells. It even takes out some pores and you know how, I don't know if you guys have seen the video on maybe Facebook or YouTube of people putting it on their nose and then they peel it and it's like a bunch of their uh, blackheads and other crap that come out. It's not that amazing. It doesn't get to the blackheads as much. It does get a few out, like if they're, if the blackheads were already kind of loose from the start, they'll come out. Um, but just the product on its own, it wasn't able to get to the root of the blackhead or anything. So it wasn't that amazing, but it did get rid of all the dead skin cells. It removes hair really, really good. So be careful with putting it anywhere near your eyebrows because it will yank those babies out immediately but i never realized i had a bunch of like peach fuzz looking hairs around my cheeks and face 
And when I applied this and yanked it off, I was like, oh. like you just wanna like punch something. But anyways, it's amazing. So find something like a purifying mask or peel off mask, use it at least once to two times a day or a day, a month. And you'll, you'll notice a difference. So maybe this has something to do with my skin as well. When, getting maintained and it's actually really cheap i think i found it online i want to say maybe ebay it was maybe four or five bucks including shipping like it wasn't that bad so you don't want to use it too often just because you'll over dry your skin and obviously let your dead skin cells die first before peeling off more skin cells you know what i mean um other than that, I think we're good with our morning routine. Once I, you know, I'm done with this, I'll throw on makeup. At the end of the day, I'll come home. I'll use the wipes, take off my makeup, wash my face, tone it up, use the correcting cream, and the moisturizing lotion. And then we're good. That's our night routine. Um, if I have certain makeup that just didn't come off all the way, I'll use the Clinique uh, makeup remover. It's called Take the Day Off. It's really good stuff too. And you know what? I actually forgot. I've been trying uh, vitamin C on my skin recently and it's amazing. Like you can tell it's really helping my skin glow a little bit more. And actually, let me grab it. Okay. So it's a Mario Badescu uh, vitamin C serum. And I use this at night, every other night. And although it kind of stinks, it smells funny. You use it under your moisturizer. So it'll be the second to last step that I use. So I'll throw, I'll throw on my correcting, my toner, correcting cream, then this, and then the moisturizer. And it locks it all up. And a huge benefit of having good skin is applying the right amount of vitamin C into your skin. And this is amazing. Everyone needs to add vitamin C to their skin. You don't need to use that much, honestly. Only about three to four drops. But it just helps preserve skin's natural moisture while collagen helps enhance firmness and elasticity. So, good stuff. Summarize it, good for your skin. Freaking try it, okay? It'll... It'll be a lifesaver. Anyways, I think that is it. So as you can tell, I do have my fair share of freckles and sunspots and a bunch of other stuff going on with my face. But I do my best with taking care of it. I know we all have busy lives and we may not always be able to be on top of our skin. But seriously, the one thing, even if you don't use all these products, within your morning or night routine, at least wash your face. You just, you won't believe how much of a difference that will make in your life. And I know a lot of people that suffer from extreme breakouts, like they have just really bad acne. And when I ask them, well, what do you do? Because, you know, they're always complaining. They're like, oh, I hate my skin. I break out so easily, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, well, what are you doing? Like, do you wash your face at night? No. Okay. Um, do you play sports? Yeah. Okay, and in the mornings, do you wash your face? No. So it's like, well, there you go. Like, if you're into sports, you're sweating all day. You come home, sleep on your pillow, you get it dirty. You wake up, you start your day without washing your face. Like, that is the root of your shitty skin. Like, take care of your skin, wash your face at night, get rid of all that sweat. Wash your face in the morning because your pillow probably has all kinds of babas and a bunch of other shit. Like, wash your freaking face. Make it a habit. I don't care if you don't use makeup or whatever. Make it a habit. Wash your face. Especially for guys. Especially for guys because a lot of guys tend to do more like outdoor work and stuff like that. And for them to not wash their face, like, yeah, I understand you're tired at night and the first thing you want to do is maybe go to bed. But just... Don't bring all that crap to your pillow. Like, that's just disgusting, you know? Anyways, that's enough of me ranting. But hope you guys like this video. I'm going to go get ready. And I guess I'll let you see how my makeup looks after all this crap was applied on my face. So, 
Have a great day, everyone. All right, so hopefully you can see it very clearly. The makeup with natural sunlight. Sorry about my freaking curtain getting in the way. As you can tell, since I started with good skin, very moisturized skin, the makeup applied flawlessly. And honestly, you can't have amazing makeup if you don't have amazing skin. So take care of your skin, pick up a new skin routine, and you'll be able to play with makeup and make it look natural, almost. So if you guys are interested in how I did this look or any other look you might see on my Instagram or anything, let me know. I might actually do a makeup tutorial soon. So let me know if you're interested. Bye.